Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Iman. On this channel, I talk about cake business and I am an international award-winning cake artist that is based in Manchester, the United Kingdom and you're welcome. Just in case you're stopping by for the first time, you are most welcome to this beautiful family. We are so happy to have you here. Where have you been all those while? <laughs> anyway, the most important thing is that you're here and if you've always been here, thank you to all my OGs. Thank you to all those of you that have been here from day one. I really do appreciate you all. Now, I want to share some things that I feel... Why am I always feeling? <laughs> Now, I want to share something that is very important for you to note, okay? Especially if you are coming here to the UK as a baker. I am trying to build a relocation series to help those of you that are coming here or that are relocating to Canada, you're relocating to the US. I believe that these tips are applicable as well and they would help you in your relocation journey as a baker. Please do well to check my playlist so that you get a lot of information. Um, I have made them available to you. You can check through watch the videos and be enlightened so what are we talking about today you would get to know in a minute without further ado let's see on the other side so i would call them baking truths okay so they are baking truths you need to know as a baker if you're relocating to the united kingdom and these are based on my personal experiences please i always like to put this disclaimer so that you will know that i'm sharing from the things that i've observed the things that have happened to me my own experiences and the things that i have learned so the first thing is this baking pans are different okay so in nigeria you also have the same situation where baking pans are different but i think here i have observed that there are different kinds of baking pans you have um, different types different brands different qualities as well and um, particularly this is from my own standpoint please don't take it to heart okay but from my own standpoint I don't think when I'm ready 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 to invest in pans that I will buy these pans that have a detachable base <laughs> detachable base let me take that again this detachable base pans i don't know if you, you know those kind of pans or you've seen them before um this wants to have a buckle by the side and then the half beads base that that can that you can remove i really don't get the best results with them when baking this is my reason i don't get the best results do you experience the same thing do you like those pans i think i would rather go for a stronger brand or a more quality brand the ones that look like wholesome pans when i mean wholesome i mean there's nothing that you need to buckle or the buckle or there's nothing that you need to attach or detach or anything i just want something that is okay and fine i don't know what what uh, materials they're made of exactly but an example of this would be the pme brand please this is not a, this is not a paid advert it'll be the pme brand i really like those pants i love those pants because it looks sturdy and they have different heights like you can get whatever height you want and they give the best results do they give the best results <laughs> they give a good results where you're baking your cake so this is what i would rather go for so please note that pans are different there are different types of pans that you can get um one of the things i observed was that my cakes used to buckle then and i wasn't having this issue back at home but if i bake with those buckle pans my cake will just sink inside and i don't know why it was happening please if you have an experience in this area let me know if you've experienced something like this or you can relate to what i'm saying please let me know in the comments so that is it baking pans are different so you need to get a very very good one if you want to get the best results when you bake your cake number two is something that i've talked about i had quite an experience with and i've made um, like two videos about this experience is that oven temperatures are different Oven temperatures are different. Huh? Like where I was before, before I moved to my own place, the temperature we use there is different from what I use now. And the person that also helped me, um, helped me with resolving the issue that I had with my oven, also has a different baking temperature. I also had to ask, I also had to ask my teacher what her oven temperature and i can see that there are variations like there are differences so the best thing for you to do is when you come calm down and then understand your oven before you start baking jump into it try and practice for yourself try and practice with your own cakes and see the result that it would give you because i tell you they are um, different and like i said i observed that most of the, the the baking temperature here predominantly from what i've seen is in celsius so please understand what really works for you your oven settings Check online if you can get the manual. If you have the physical um, hard copy of your manual, all well and good. Please study it very well. If not, please check online and then understand what settings you need to use for your baking, especially baking of cakes. Okay, I'm going to link that video somewhere so you can check it out and learn from my experience and what I did to help me resolve mine. The third thing when it comes to baking is this, is that there are a variety of baking ingredients. Like I mentioned in my baking culture shops, I go 
not here to say that you can easily get caster sugar um in stores it's not something that was common back home you can get caster sugar you can get brown sugar easily you can get um, self-raising flour cake flour i've not seen but you can get coconut flour i've, so, I've seen I've seen coconut flour, no, I've seen. I've seen coconut flour as well. I believe you should be able to get, I think I've seen almond flour in stores before. So these things are easily accessible. They are readily available. You can easily get them compared to what was obtainable back home. So there are a variety of ingredients, know this. And um, please don't just, don't just pack because you're seeing them. <laughs> okay, like when I, I, I was at Huddersfield, I could not, I didn't want to bake with the coconut flour. Um, the fact that I was picking a coconut cake it did not mean that I should use a coconut flour So I didn't want to start experimenting or trying I just wanted to go with the flow and go with what I already know So the thing is there are a variety of cake ingredients here, but pick choose and use wisely The fourth thing I want to share is this when it comes to baking don't make a sharp transition I had someone telling me the other day as a comment that the ingredients that I use back home in Nigeria Is not the same thing that they use here or what they say. I quite agree, but then I find that using the things that I use back home, some of the things I use back home, some of my ingredients is helping me transit gradually. So I didn't make a sharp, a sharp change. Like I didn't just call me and start using whatever or the ingredients that I find here. I felt more comfortable and I felt it would be a wise thing for me to do, bring in some, not everything. Like I didn't bring flour. I was going to carry flour. I was going to carry sugar. I was going to carry icing sugar. <laughs> okay. Some of the things I had left, not that I intentionally went to buy them, but some of the things that I had left off of baking, I just wanted to bring them over here, but I dropped them at the last minute. I dropped them at home, but I brought some very important things to me, like my cocoa powder, uh, my red food color, my red velvet food color, I brought it here, and my flavors, I brought them here. So it will help you with transitioning gradually, and I think it is something that you should consider that will help you. So don't make a sharp transition. Get to understand how things will gradually begin to introduce the ones you find here so that you can get a good experience and a good balance, so to say. Right, the next thing is to understand how these ingredients work, how they are actually. So for example, when I got here, I baked a cake. I can't remember what cake exactly, but I found out that it was too sweet. I don't know if the sugar here is sweeter than what I know. <laughs> I know that sugar has a sort of universal taste, uh, pardon me. But then I found out that the sugar, the cake I baked was too sweet compared to what I would have at home using the same recipe measurement. So um, you need to understand how the ingredients work. So understand, you need to study it, so to say. Um, it also has to maybe tie with the first point too. So, understand how they work the cocoa powder for example like i don't know the brand of cocoa powder here as i've not bought here yet but i understand that it's a tad bitter please if you can confirm let me know um so i understand it's a tad bitter so if it's bitter than what you're used to then maybe you might have to switch up your sugar a bit or something i don't really know how this works please this is not a pro advice at this point okay but this is just me trying to say that you need to understand how the ingredients work the sugar to me tasted so sweet and then the salt is sharp this the brand of salt here is sharp so you understand what i'm saying very well and it's not just me saying it i, I also um, watched somebody this is not a big hard though but she's someone that lives here that relocated here and she was saying oh she now has a mastery she now understands how to use the salt here that before just she wasn't um, she didn't know how i'm just trying to paraphrase she didn't know how to use it because i find out that the salt is really sharp and i was told back at Huddersfield there when I was baking so I used to be careful very very careful when using the salt so the salt is sharper to me the sugar tastes sweeter and um, the said the cocoa powder is a bit bitter things like that so if you're hearing this and variations and you're hearing this story what you need to do understand these ingredients when you're using them so this is a short sweet video straight to the point about baking truths that I think you need to know if you are relocating to the uk as a baker and i hope that you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i really really look forward to your support and i appreciate those of you that have been doing great um telling people about this channel sharing my videos engaging supporting liking and everything thank you so much and god bless you don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that you're notified when i upload a new video and also a channel membership our channel membership is up i'm running at the moment i'm still looking to invite those of you who would like to learn from me, who would like to be mentored by me, who would love to have a deeper connection with me. Just click the join tab and then you will see details on how to enroll and how to make your payments. Until I see you in the next video, stay happy, stay safe and stay blessed.